So the Stanley Juvenile Hurdle is next, or should that be the Stanley Juvenile Hurdle? Not sure, it looks like we've got a race car back this time, so well done. It's two miles and one furlong, it's a juvenile four-year-old hurdle race, and the top one is French Horn, David Robertson, Playground, Martellism, Clockwork, Carl Aragante, Dame Joanna, Lumley, Paul Rhodes, Heist, Paul Rhodes, Kingdom of Gods, Joshua Sutherland, Millennium Power, Molly Et Surfer, Northern Rack, Derek Hinton, Trade Wars, Graham Clutterbuck, and Ugni Blanc, Darren Thompson. So most of these have been racing against each other week in, week out throughout the season, then, so there should be a pretty good form line, and they're away and racing. And you would have to expect that Graham Clutterbuck should win this one with his Cheltenham winner trade wars, but it's Northern Rock, Northern Rack even, that's gone on. As they sort themselves out, Derek Hinton horses like to lead, don't they? It looks like this one is no exception. And Northern Rack it is then, who's gone on by about three lengths as they take the first of ten flights. All over that one, okay. I'm not sure why we've got a race in France called Stanley, who that's named after. But uh, I'm sure the king of trivia, Mr. Stu Gray, will let us know tomorrow. And it's Northern Rack in the lead. And Ugly Blanc is second. And Playground is third. Heist is after that one. And French Horn. And Clockworks Millennium Power is next. And Dame Joanna Lumley after that one. With Trade Wars towards the back. And Kingdom of Gods is scraping paint on the inside. So Northern Rack it is then. Over in the lead. And Playground and French Horn. And Heist and Ugly Blanc. Millennium Power is after that one. Skip over that one. And just pretty much as you were then. Let's see. Come up the straight now. I'm going to get a look from the inside of the track. We get a nice view of the Eiffel Tower again. Just in case we forget where we are. And Northern Rack's in the lead. On playground second. Heist third. Then French Horn four and Millennium Power five. Then Ugly Blanc is six and Clockwork is seven. As they take the fourth. That'll be the last next time round. And all over that one okay. And we can see... The stands over on the far side. Oh, now we're back in the stands again now then. Shooting around like nobody's business with the camera angles. Already getting the last few presses of the buttons in in this last week of the season. And Northern Rack is the leader. Going into this next one then. Didn't jump it all that well. Rattled the hurdle and has subsequently lost the lead to Heist. So Heist in front then now. Just from Northern Rack who's getting back on an even keel and is now back in front. Back in third is Playground. Then Millennium Power is fourth, Clockwork is five, and Ugly Blanc six, and Dame Joanna Lumley seven as they take the sixth. With the hot favourite trade war still the back marker. And Northern Rack. Back a length to the good then. From Heist in second, Millennium Power third. And Dame Joanna Lumley's getting a little bit closer, also come with that one on the outside is French Horn. Clockwork and Playground are after that one. And comes Kingdom of Gods and Trade Wars, Ugly Blanc. Just the back marker as they take their seventh. And they've only got three more flights to take after that one. Playground is the one that's dropping through the field pretty quickly. And it's Northern Rack who continues to show the way. But French Horn on the outside of Heist. Between the two of them, Millennium Power. Then Dame Joanna Lumley is next. Playground has got going again. And Ogney Blanc and Trade Wars. Clockwork is next. Kingdom of Gods is going to try and come from the back, I would think. But it's Northern Rack in the lead, then over the third last, and skips over it in front. He's now got three lengths clear. Over in second place, Millennium Power, then Heist, French Horn, Dame Joanna Lumley, then Playground, and Ogney Blanc running on there over the second last, then now. And it's Heist who's gone for the lead. I can't see where Trade Wars is coming from to win this. He's miles out of it. It's Heist in the lead from Millennium Power in second. Then comes Northern Rack and French Horn, and Dame Joanna Lumley's after that. It's probably between these, then, as they come down towards the final flight. It's Heist and Millennium Power. Millennium Power on the outside. Heist is on the rail. Over the final flight they go, and it was just a bit of jump from Millennium Power. Millennium Power goes half a length. Clear, but Heist is fighting back on the inside. It's a ding dong head bobber as they go towards line, but it looks like Millennium Power's only going to take it. Millennium Power's the winner. Heist is second. Dame Joanna Lumley was third. Trade Wars was last, and I think that'll have to be a steward's inquiry into the running of that one. That will need to be dope tested, I think, because it should have won this by country mile looking at the form book. But Millennium Power takes it for Molly at Surfer and. Heist is second for Paul Rhodes. Third, third was Paul Rhodes as well with Dame Joanna Lumley. Northern Rack for Derek Hinton was fourth. French Horn for David Robertson was fifth. And Trade Wars was stone last.